Hey everybody, this is Trevor, and thank you for coming to my show today. So, today's topic, I wanted to be a gunsmith, but I live in Canada. That's where I'm at in December 2022. So, history on my wanting to be a gunsmith. In the winter of 2020... I decided, hey, I want to be a gunsmith. I've been a restricted firearms owner here in Canada since 2018. And I decided after a couple of years, I thought, hey, this is something I enjoy. I've always, I think I'm, I'm good with firearms. Uh, I enjoy them. It's a passion. Some people have passion for cars. Some people have passion for shoes, purses, whatever. I've always liked firearms and, you know, I got late into the game uh, to be a firearms owner in Canada, but uh, whatever, that's when I did it. So I got the license, the restricted license 2018 and started taking a gunsmithing course, as you can see here from the book that I have in the background. Um, sorry, I shake the video there for a sec. But anyways, uh, I started taking a gunsmithing course and sure enough, you know, in around uh, March, April of 2020, the dear leader of Canada, Justin Trudeau, decided to shut everything down. So then I started thinking, wow, like uh, how long is this shutdown going to be? And if the government can shut down the economy at uh, the snap of a finger, what happens when I become a gunsmith and they shut down society again and, you know... I'd be relying on people to come to my home, my business. I'm thinking I would never enforce anyone to wear a mask or have a medical procedure or stand six feet apart or, you know, use the hand sanitizer. I would never have enforced that. And I maintained that from the beginning. And now it's coming out two and a half years later that the things that I was talking about in at least June 2020 are now coming to fruition. You don't, you know, they're all, you know, masks and all this other stuff. Anyways, that aside, so I started thinking then, of course, in May and June, May of uh, 2020, the dear leader of Canada, Justin Trudeau, banned uh, basically semi-automatic rifles in Canada. So then I'm really thinking, oh, geez, you know, I'm, I'm into this, this gunsmithing course. I'm doing really well, you know, and then I started thinking in the summer of 2020, you know, he's not going to stop there. Justin Trudeau, the next ban he's going to have is going to, it's going he's going to ban uh, handguns. <laughs> sure enough, here in <coughs> two years later, in uh, June 2022, Justin Trudeau brought about legislation to ban handguns in Canada. So, and by that point, um, it's with a heavy heart to say that, yeah, I'd given up on the, taking the gunsmithing course. Because I just knew back in the summer of 2020 that, that it's, it's, this isn't going to be a profession that I'm going to be able to make a life for myself and my family. And I could have because I'm a very passionate person about firearms and I was doing really well in the course. Um, but anyways, I digress. <coughs> so here we are in 2022. He bans firearms and made it official in October of 2022. And I knew, even back in 2020, I said he's going to ban firearms, uh, handguns. I knew back then, in my stomach, my gut feeling said he's going to go after hunting rifles. And I thought, no, 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 he's not going to. There's no way Trudeau will go after hunting rifles, okay? He wants to get, of all, <coughs> he wants to get rid of those uh, scary-looking, you know, um, firearms, the AR-15s and whatnot. He wants to get, because they're scary-looking. He wants to get rid of them. And he wants to get rid of handguns. But I thought he'd never go after. And here we are, December 2022. And the dear leader of Canada, Justin Trudeau, he's going after hunting rifles. So I made the right decision back in the fall of 2020 to basically give up on being a gunsmith. Because I knew firearms in Canada were just doomed. And uh, people are like, Trevor, don't give up because, you know, we'll vote Justin Trudeau out and, you know, the next guy will come in and he'll scrap all of Justin Trudeau's laws. And I go, oh, okay. But then I start thinking that's not good enough. 
okay, just to overturn how much of Justin Trudeau puts in, you know, okay, maybe the next guy says, okay, we'll allow AR-15s back, but maybe not handguns, or maybe they allow handguns. That's not good enough. Okay, if, if what Justin Trudeau hasn't shown you as a firearms owner in Canada that we need better than that, okay, we need what the Americans have, and that's the right to bear arms. But we don't have that in Canada. And I knew that getting into being a firearms owner. It was a privilege and not a right. But I thought, okay, you know, the government's, you know, I'm a law-abiding citizen. The government's, um, they're never going to take the guns away like that. But here we are, and they are. They're banned. So what do I do as a restricted firearms owner here in Canada? What what would I do? What am I going to do when the government says, okay, we're now going to confiscate firearms. and But don't worry, we'll give you the fair market value for what uh, they're worth, which is not going to be anywhere near what any firearms owner in Canada paid for their rifles. But let's say they do that. You know, what are they going to do? Just They're not going to ask. I can't see them asking firearms owner, well, go to your local gun station and hand everything in. Maybe they do that. How many people are going to do that? No, what I say, it's, you know, here's the thing. It's going to take people with guns to come and get your guns. And that doesn't matter if it's Canada, United States, the UK, Russia, China, India, wherever. It always takes people with guns and they are commonly known as public sector public sector workers. If you really want to break it down, police and military. Those are the people that will come and get your guns. Okay? And maybe that's how the government of Canada will do it. They'll say to every local law enforcement, okay, you know where every, all the guns are because everything's registered. Don't give me this old long arm registry went away. They know where all the guns are. And they will come to every law-abiding good citizen in Canada and come to your door and knock on it. Knock on your door and say, well, we're here to, to get your firearms. And you got to hand them in. What are you going to do? Half a dozen armed public sector workers at your door? you, you got to hand them in. Every You'll have to. I'll have to. Uh, what am I going to do? You'd be an absolute... You just no. Like you, you have to turn them in if it gets to that point. Because, again, it's a privilege and not a right here in Canada. So I almost wish I could, if I could go back in time to, like, 2017 when I started thinking, hey, I should go get my firearms license. And then, you know, and then then, then in 2018 when I went and did it, I, I wish I went back and said, I, just waste of time, waste of money. Don't take a gunsmithing course. Don't buy any firearms because <clears throat> they're going to take them away. Because it's a privilege and not a right to own a firearm in Canada. That's what it is. So here I am, December 2022, and and this is just one more profession that Justin Trudeau and the government is saying I basically can't do. Because who am I going to service now? Who would I service if I had finished this course? Who would I service? The only people left with guns are the people that work for government. And that's what it's going to be in Canada. So for all the, you know, these uh, gun lobbyist groups in Canada too, they're a farce. They're a farce. They talk, 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 talk. They were talking. They had a gun uh, rally in uh, June 2020 here in Canada. And, you know, a peaceful assembly. They had to get the permission to, for the time and place to go to uh, protest against the government. And, but of course they, you know, they had to get the, the permission to do it, but that didn't go anywhere. Government just was like, whatever, whatever. And these, these gun lobbyists in Canada, they don't do anything for us except take your, your hard earned cash. All they do is talk, talk, talk. And there's, there's nothing can be done there. And they never, ever, ever introduce anything to, to the government. Like these gun lobbyists, uh, firearms, defense lawyers, anybody who's, you know, Canadian gun owners, you can't seem to get them their head wrapped around the fact that we have to scrap this firearms as a privilege and make it a right in Canada. But, you know, nobody wants to really talk about that. So here we are, um, good law-abiding citizens 
like myself, just sitting back thinking, well, I, I don't know. I guess, you know, it's just a privilege to have them. So I guess when Trudeau fully swings in and announces that they have to be turned in, you have to turn them in or else suffer the consequences. And the consequences would be people with guns coming to get your guns and they will, they'll do whatever, they'll, they will use whatever violence they need to confiscate your firearms. And that's what it's going to take. And that's well. That's, so that's what it would be, uh, and that's that's the threat of violence coming to your door. And so it's like, well, okay, well, you know, you gotta hand them in. But all it would take is one stupid ass Canadian to say, I'm not, I'm not going to turn my guns in and do whatever it takes to keep them. And then Trudeau will introduce the Emergencies Act again, which is martial law, and he'll do it nationwide. He'll do it nationwide, and then. I just it's just a complete shit show. So to be a firearms owner in Canada, it's useless. Like I say, I wish I'd go back in time. I would not have gotten and my 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 restricted license. I wouldn't have even got the non restricted license. Because a non restricted license in Canada gave gave you, I guess I should talk in past tense, the ability to buy hunting rifles. You know, your shotgun, your bolt action, your lever action, but those are being, you know, thrown onto a list of confiscation as well, too. So, oh, man, I tell you, I tell you, um, it, it makes me want to leave Canada. I've made videos on leaving Canada. I've done firearms videos on leaving Canada. And I just want to leave Canada. Because the government's going to come and take everybody's firearms away. And you know you, you you can't enjoy going to the range. I can't you can't enjoy going hunting. And I'll tell you here's something too that I've I've uh, heard lately from my liberal friends. Uh, and I'm not saying I'm conservative either because conservatives have their issues too when it comes to um, police, military, and, and citizen and firearm ownership in Canada. Okay, that's a whole new ball of wax, but. I have had liberal friends who are anti-gun come to me, and what they say is, why is the government taking away all the, the guns? Okay, so ask yourself that as a Canadian. Why, why is the government taking away all the guns? I mean, I've got hardcore liberal friends that say, oh yeah, we, we should never have had uh, AR-15s and handguns in Canada, but I think, you know, they even the hardcore ones would be like, but, you know, hey, my grandpa or my uncle, they like to go hunting. So I guess, you know, a bolt action or lever action or shotgun. Yeah, okay. But even now they're saying, hey, oh, my God, these, these hunting rifles are under threat of being uh, confiscated as well, too. So, yeah, that's that's really great, isn't it? Um, so, yeah, my uh, Justin Trudeau uh, crushed my dream of being a gunsmith. And just on a side note. I started thinking, too, back in 2020. I, I've had these moments in time, uh, you know, going back through my life where I wanted to be a truck driver. So then after I give up on the, the hope of being a gunsmith, uh, I thought, hey, you know, 2020, uh, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll you know, I'm, I'll get into trucking because I've always wanted to do it. Uh, I have a passion for it. Uh, and then all of a sudden, you know, obviously what's happened here in Canada uh, since uh, February... Well, in January of 2022, the dear leader of Canada, Justin Trudeau, said that truck drivers have to be up to date and fully COVID vaccinated. Like, what? I'm not, you know, if you want to take a medical procedure, like, you know, whether it be a flu shot or a COVID vaccination, that should be voluntary. And I've always maintained that. I've maintained that for two and a half years because even back then I said, hey, this stuff's going to roll out. And people said, no, 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 you're, you're, you're out in left field. They'll never have uh, mandatory vaccinations or passports and all this other stuff. But all that stuff did come to fruition. So I was like, oh, there's another dream crushed. I can't even be a truck driver. You know, I can't be a gun. You know, it's like, oh, God, Justin Trudeau's making it quite difficult to... Uh, Crushing the economy, crushing the economy. So what else can I say about that? Gunsmithing. I just, it's just, just another profession here that uh, in Canada that's, it's, it's crushed. Okay. 
And again, I say, well, people say, well, Trevor, maybe, uh, you know, the, 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 the awesome guy, Pierre Polyev, the conservative leader, Kenner, maybe he'll turn over all this and, uh, okay, maybe, maybe he overturns everything that Justin Trudeau uh, has uh, deemed illegal now. Maybe he, he overturns it, but that's not good enough anymore. I, I think we need to go above and beyond that. We need to at least, Pierre Polyev, if he came out and uh, said to me, well, you know, I'm going to overturn everything Justin Trudeau did with firearms, and then I'm going to look at revamping the licensing system and you know, magazine capacities and maybe just have one license that will give you the ability to buy all, you know, handguns, semi-autos, and hunting rifles. Okay, he's got to go above and beyond that. And that's what the next conservative leader of Canada needs to do. Okay, they can't just scrap what the liberals bring in. They need to go above and beyond and go as far as they can. Okay, I keep getting told, no, no, we, we could never have the right to bear arms in Canada. Well, Maybe maybe the next Conservative Prime Minister of Canada, maybe they need to do that. Maybe they need to push that envelope and try to get us there. Because, again, I come back to the what my Liberal friends have said, and they're saying, Trevor, why, are, why is the government getting rid of all the guns? Why? Well, you sit there and think about it. You sit and think about it, okay? When they take away the, the right... The privileges for to have these any kind of firearm in Canada. Well, you just sit and think about it. That's what I'm going to leave you with today. So sit and think about it. As liberals are even sitting and thinking about it. Why is the government taking away all the guns in Canada? Well, think about it. Uh, so that's my rant on that today. Just something I, I was just thinking about, you know. Good old gunsmithing course. There's another profession that Trudeau took away. From people here in Canada. Hope he's proud of himself. I hope the dear leader can is so proud of himself. So I leave you with that today people. Thank you for coming here. Please like, share and subscribe and comment. And uh, I thank you for that. Have a good day. Stay free.